This is the third word problem that you have on the page. It's very much like the last one. But you've got to figure out how you're going to set this up. Okay. Now, just like the last one, it's just looking for a number. So we can just say let x equal the number. Okay. So let's let x equal the number. There's a lot of words up there, and it can be very confusing. Try to find your equal sign. What word or words indicate your equal sign? Is. Well, actually, more than that, it's is the same as, there's your equal sign. So before I get to the equal sign, I see this. The sum of 4 times some number of 43. How do you write that? The sum means I'm adding what? Four times some number. And the other part is 43. Do you all agree? Is the same as gets translated how? Equals. Three times the difference of the number in 78. How do you write that? 3x minus 78? No, no. It does it say three. the difference first? It says three times first, right? Yeah. That means it's three times. Three times what? X minus 78. X minus 78. Do you all agree with that? And then what would you do with that? Distribute the three first. Okay. If I distribute the three, I've got 4x plus 43 equals what? 3x minus 3 times 78. What's 3 times 70? 210. 3 times 8 is 24. So 210 and 24 is 234. All right, now where do you want to move your x's? I'm going to move my x's to the left, so minus 3x. Which means I need to move my constants to the right, so minus 43. So what does this give me now for my equation? x equals what? 277. 277? Negative 277. Do I box that answer? Yes. No. No, you don't box that answer. The number. You state your answer. Now this is it's this is hard to check unless you kind of compare it with the original um, paragraph because it's not something based on a real world example that we can grasp. We can really grab onto. This is just a number. Find the number. So our response to that is what? The number is negative two seventy-seven. Right. The number is negative 277. So we always have to write the number as instead of just leaving x. You respond to the problem correctly. If you look at some of the other questions that are on there, how much does the child weigh? Your response would be the child weighs so many pounds. Okay. If it were to say, you know, how many, how many cats are there? You know, there's 52 cats in the crazy cat lady's house or something, you know, whatever. So make sure that you define your variable, write and solve your equation, state your answer. And if it's applicable, check and analyze, especially if it deals with money, uh, deals with, you know, counting something, it, it should make sense.